COVID-19, the pandemic, which took the world by storm. Many lost their lives. A lot of businesses went downhill. And of course, the ch sour cherry was the lockdown. It was no road ahead. We were all holed up in our rooms, our homes, just between those walls, with our mask and the utmost fear of getting infected by the virus. Friends, let me ask you, how many of us have actually uh, experienced COVID-19? Could you raise your hands? Okay. And uh, how many of us were hospitalized? A few. How was it the 15 days staying in isolation? Anybody went through that? I'm sure we did. We didn't know what to do. Technology gave us new dimensions, new platforms. We got latched on to it, and of course, we are yet latched on, connecting to the world on entertainment, which has also become a part of our work and our lives. Super. I want to mention about a, a WHO report which says COVID-19 has increased anxiety and depression cases worldwide by at least 25%. I leave it to you to do the math. I'm not here going to be talking only on COVID-19. What about the COVID-1, COVID-2, COVID-3 and a lot of COVIDs which have been there over the decades but refuse to be addressed just because of the stigma of the society? What will the world think? Mental health, my friends. The much needed much to be addressed topic, which we choose to ignore just with the fear of what would the world think if we talk about our mental discomforts. It's so sad. I'm a music therapist and a counselor. And I have been working very closely, knocking on every platform, addressing this issue. I want to share with you a story, how was my lockdown? One morning I was by my window with my cup of coffee and I was as gloomy as each one of us, but I got an idea. I sprang up to it and then I took my phone, thanks to the WhatsApp, I reached out to my neighbors inviting them to come to the windows at 6.30 in the evening. At a given time, I see people towards their windows. I placed my console on mine, and we belted out music of different genres. What I noticed, adults were swaying to the music, but the kids, Refrain because they were busy with their gadgets or the Zooms. We went on with our music. A 30-minute capsule every day of the lockdown. And pleasantly surprising, kids tickled in, leaving their gadgets away, joining their parents on the windows. I mean, it was super pleasant and there were a lot of requests coming from people, from adults, of playing their favorite tracks because they admitted how music has helped them through depression and anxiety, which we were all going through. Even more, a lot of requests coming in from youngsters for their music, which was very pleasing because at the end of the day, I saw everybody practically away from their phones, with their families, and we all spoke one language, 
called music because we also celebrated birthdays across the window. And as you could see this, parents and kids together swing to various kinds of music. We witnessed oneness. Friends, technology is very important. We need to go with time. It's the way ahead. But at times, we need to disconnect to connect. Disconnect but from those gadgets for a while. Connect with yourself and your loved ones. Music therapy helps you do that. Because music relaxes you while music therapy listens to you. And I'm sure that all of us need to be heard. Music plays a very vital role on our reflexes and our brain. It activates that motivational molecule called dopamine and various chemicals that brightens our day. It has been proved scientifically also how music has helped people even during cancer to cope with their pain, anxiety. Researchers all across have been proven finding these real case studies over how a person going through cancer treatment and chemo only while listening to music or with a music therapist. His blood levels, blood pressure levels are a bit under control. His moods are better. He can deal with the pain. Excitement is less. That anxiety. It has been a proven fact with people going through Alzheimer's, dementia. I've worked with quite a few. But let me also share with you a case study. My friend's sister, who lives away from Mumbai, she was hospitalized and uh, got into the ICU. She slipped into coma. And that's when this friend of mine was really devastated, cried a lot, asking for help, but I couldn't do anything because that's not my domain. I'm a music therapist. So medication was doing their job. Taking proper approvals from the fraternity over there, all I gave her was a capsule of music. Taking proper audible, audio dimensions to the patient in the ICU. It was played with the permission. Medicines were doing their job. Music therapy complements it and works on those reflexes. And that lady, her sister, was up on day number five. This is a four-year-old case. And today, that lady is running a 10-kilometer marathon. This is the power of music. When you talk about music, I just want to mention one thing. As we speak, remove the words or the vocals. You get sound. Sound is music. So why can't we acknowledge the fact of it being so embedded in us that we could try using it as a therapy? Have you ever wondered uh, why do these mental issues arise amongst everybody? Because there's no one to vent to. Everybody needs a vent. They need to be spoken. But the society is too busy judging people. That is where we suffocate ourselves. We are like a bottle. Our opinions, our views, our thoughts, and then we put a lid, which leads to anger outburst, panic attacks, all the kind of symptoms, just for not getting a chance to vent out. 
do you deserve it? I don't think so. When we talk of music as a therapy and it listens to you without judging you. I'd like to mention uh, a case which had happened and uh, a parent had come to me with her daughter. Now I'm going to enact this. So I asked, what is the issue? And she mentions phone addiction. And I just looked at her and I smiled. We love to play the blame game. Even in the same house, under the same roof, families are distant. Why is that happening? There was a time when we were children, we used to hide 10% from our parents. Yeah, that's okay. But the same 10% has become 70 to 80% today. Why? Because lack of conversation within the same family. Isn't it sad? There was a joke once upon a time. When you want to have a family dinner on the same table, turn off the Wi-Fi. But that joke has become a reality today because we all are so spaced out in our own gadgets. Online shopping, social media likes, and of course, wanting to know what's the other person doing, other person's life. We branded ourselves. We've branded ourselves by the phones we use, the cars, even the clothes that we wear. And that has created even more competition, jealousy, hypocrisy which has also paved the way to a lot, within a lot of homes, anxiety, depression. There are students, there are parents who also need to go to a counselor, but the, the only I thing is we shy away because it's a stigma. You need to wake up. We need to wake up. As I said before, music, relaxes you, music therapy listens to you. Why is this happening? Because there is some unrest, some unrest of expectation, some unrest of competition. Why are we getting there? All this really puts your confidence low dampens your productivity. We need to wake up to that. Music is the only thing that can lose you and find you at the same time, my friends. Let's get the missing link within the same family. I repeat, disconnect from those gadgets and connect with your loved ones. I leave you with one parting note. Life is beautiful. It's only we who complicate it. Thank you.